Gun Venture is brought to you by Aguila, Sig Sauer, and Smith & Wesson. So we had a group come in, and it was obviously one that was the big hog. And I just waited for him to come in close. I got rested on the sticks with that SIG and just squeezed off the shot. This guy was tough. He just spun around and ran off. It was hard to tell whether or not Ryan actually shot that hog. It, it barely squealed. I didn't think I missed. I thought I had a pretty good rest. But then I started thinking, maybe I did miss. I don't think it's it. No, it didn't even squeal. <laughs> I started getting upset about it. <laughs> so, came to a quick conclusion that Ryan hadn't hit the hog. Let me tell you something. Handgun hunting is hard. <laughs> 50 Beowulf is a little bit different story. Unlike the 45 ARX, which I still think was very, very effective, the 50 Beowulf absolutely creamed that hog when I shot it. I've never been hunting with a 50 Beowulf, and Paul just kept telling me this thing is a hammer. As Ryan saw, I sure hope, you know, I sure hope he was paying attention. The hog laid down in its tracks. It didn't move. He, he broke the shot, and it was like they dropped a ton of bricks on top of this hog. It's quickly becoming my favorite cartridge. Does that 50 work? <laughs> yes. That was lights out. The 50 Beowulf. You're pretty quick at that, huh? What a cool cartridge. In an AR, and there's probably not a ton of recoil either, no, right? No, zero. I mean, it's just like shooting a 5.56. Uh, five, That's a nice size hog, and one shot. One shot, and it went down immediately. We had hogs come in, but we had a lot of deer come in. We had more deer than hogs, I want to say. <laughs> and we're, we're sitting on the ground. Oh my Holy gosh. Shit. Look what we have come what in the here. <laughs> <laughs> a stampede of hogs. A stampede of hogs. This is hog heaven. Yeah, that's what I'm just saying. It's but it's so also bizarre. deer paradise. It's very bizarre. <laughs> I found the first one. You did? Really? It was hard to tell whether or not Ryan actually shot that hog. It, it barely squealed, but we then learned that it barely squealed because its lungs had basically exploded. So I did get that So hog. you did get it. 45 ACP. Should not have accused you of <laughs> now. The <laughs> hog slayer. I'll tell you what, the poly case ammo did its job and he was DRT. Look at that. Oh yeah, there you go. Oh yeah. Hit him right where I wanted to hit him. Maybe a little bit high. But it did the job. It did the job. I mean, he ran a little bit, but I don't think I've ever shot a hog with a 45. I have now. Oh, you have. I'm, I'm impressed. It worked. We saw what, how you make this stuff. We saw the performance there. Now we've seen it on hogs, 45 ACP, 50 Beowulf. Oh, yeah. Had a great time doing it, too. Yeah. We're standing there doing our, our little talky talk to wrap it up, and there's a stampede of hogs that come running through, a little piglets. Oh, my Holy gosh. Look what we have coming what in the here. <laughs> what? I, I saw your light and I'm like, wait, I hear like a whole stampede. Just so appropriate for hog heaven. It is perfect. Okay. Thanks, man. All right, man. Thanks a lot. <laughs> Green Island, or what we've named as hog heaven, is very special to us and special to me in particular because it's so near Savannah. It's a great place for us to go out and, and very short notice and test the ammunition um, with friends. I mean, that's the best part about it really is go out, hunt, shoot, test the ammunition, be with friends, and really enjoy a beautiful part of the low country anytime we really want to. All right, listen up. I snuck away while they were doing some filming and look what I found. This is the R&D skunk work section of Polycase, and this is their latest round. It's the 100 millimeter, and they say this has the stopping power of 1,050 BMGs. And they say it has the stopping power of 1,000 rabbits on acid. 
and it's as powerful as an internet troll's nine millimeter super long slide. And they say it has the stopping power of a million 22 shorts. Actually, it's not that powerful, it's just subsonic. And it's as powerful as Chris Serino's breath in the morning. <laughs>